Okay guys, so we've got the trigger drill now. So, or cordless drill, hand drill, whatever you want to call it. So these are great for doing quick, um, yeah, like quick drilling, especially for like prototypes and models where the accuracy is not quite so um, necessary. And also, if you're doing, um, if you're drilling holes in materials where you need to have like a, like a hole at a certain angle or you're doing like slightly more sort of like detailed freeform work then, the, then these are great. The limitation of these are they are very hard to drill a perfectly perpendicular um, hole with because you never quite know how straight you're holding the drill. Um, another limitation is the diameter of drill that these can take. These can only take drill bits of a, about up to 10 millimeters. So that's the limitation. So anything bigger than 10 millimeters you need to switch over to the pillar drill then. Um, yeah, now these drill bits, they, sorry, these drills have two speeds on the top. I talked about speeds with the pillar drill. We've got speed one, which you can see there is, is sort of medium speed, and then speed two is the fast one. So speed, um, second gear essentially, you'd use for smaller drill bits, first gear you'd use for larger drill bits, or if you were putting a screwdriver attachment in, you wanted to, to drive a screw into the piece of material. So with these, yep, you'd, you have to clamp the workpiece down onto the material using a quick grip. You've got a drilling board underneath for, as a sacrificial piece. And then when you're drilling, the, the main thing with this is you drill and you don't let go of the trigger until the drill is completely released from the workpiece. So I'm just gonna demo now. So what I don't do is this, where I've stopped now, and some people then try and wiggle the piece, wiggle the drill bit out. You keep pulling the trigger, and there we go, until it's completely released. Now the drill bits get very hot when you're working with them. Um, same with the pillar drill, so it's important you don't touch the drill bit until you know you give it at least 10 minutes to cool down. Um, yeah, and then obviously you've got a lot of sawdust there, so you need to sweep that away. There'll be some splintering around the edge, so you might need to get some sandpaper just to clean that up. Um, but yeah, that's basically the principles of how to use a drill um, safely. Obviously, I wasn't wearing goggles or any PPE there. PPE standing for personal protective equipment, but um, yeah, that's okay, because I was just doing a video. Um, yeah, so that's everything with the hand drill.